My name is Sharon, I'm from Sable, New York. I was in Bunger uh, that February day and uh, ran into Teresa trying on her ski outfits. I'm gonna go with all black. Super cute. And then we can hit the slopes. What do you say? Good. That's the thing about the Larrys. They know that if I have a cute outfit, I'll do anything. Well, just about anything. Excuse me. Uh, my name is Teresa, and I'm a medium. Hi, sure. And nice to meet you. Um, I'm able to connect with people that have crossed over. I am feeling that your mother is departed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Teresa said, someone over there lost their mom, and I know my friend's mother, so I knew it had to be me. Your mother talks about her sweater. Yes. Do you have her sweater? I do. So this is my mom's sweater. I keep it in my closet. It just reminds me of her. It's a 1940s style cardigan sweater set. And um, I just can't part with it. It's something that she wore a lot and reminds me of her every day. Do you have her necklace? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, she goes, it's a locket, but it's really not a locket, Teresa. Yes. It's a cameo, and there's a picture of my dad from World War II. My dad was in the Coast Guard in World War II, and he was stationed in Palermo, Sicily, and he bought a beautiful cameo necklace for my mom, and he cut out the headshot from this and pasted it on the back. I don't wear it because I'm afraid something will happen to my picture that's on the back of my dad, so uh, I did wear it right after the reading. I wore it to work, so people I work with could see it. Do you feel that you did not get the opportunity to say goodbye to her? I felt like I didn't get the opportunity. When she was ill with Alzheimer's, I would go to see her and just fill her in on, on what my children were doing. It was our last day together. I said to her, Mom, do you know who I am? And she said, you look very nice. And I always wondered, did she know who I was and thought I looked very nice that day? Or did she not know who I was, but just thought I looked like a nice person? She's saying you did because she heard your own personal thoughts and or prayers. I talk to her all the time. So no, she hears you. This makes my heart beat really fast. <laughs> How amazing is it, especially when someone leaves the physical world with Alzheimer's, and then they're able to communicate and validate for us that nothing was left unsaid. My mother, she was not a believer in mediums. I just think it's interesting because my aunt, who loved butterflies, always said, oh, well, when I come back, I'm gonna be, you know, like the butterflies, you see. So I always think of her, you know, with the butterflies, and I always felt like, gee, I wish my mom was, you know, like, said something like that to me before, you know, she passed away. She also tells me that you find the pennies in odd places. Yeah. Not a coincidence, know that it is your mom. My mom always loved the song Pennies from Heaven by Bing Crosby from, I think, like the 1930s. And um, I just always think of her when I find them. I'm usually out with my kids and it's a heartfelt moment of things that like my mom and I used to do and now I'm doing with my kids. And just, I get the feeling that she's watching over us or is there with us and I find them and feel like, oh, there's a penny from heaven. By acknowledging physical things that we've kept of our loved ones, that's, I think, a way of spirit saying, look, we are still connected, even though I'm not physically in the physical world. So <laughs> it nice was very meet nice you. meeting Thank you. Thank you so much. Getting that reading from my mom made me feel it's not just something that I want to believe in. That's her spirit that shines through to me now.